was also going to talk about these woke corporations and how to zap them. And I'm going to take a slight... I'm going to just take a, go a little over time to do that because... When we see these left-wing corporations, realize some of them are activists because their CEO is some guy with a man bun, you know, and he's like, yeah. <laughs> but a lot of them aren't. American Airlines, Delta, I mean, mainstream, so why do they behave this way? The answer, they feel the heat only from one side. They're threatened by the left and they get nothing from the right. So how do we turn up the oven? Okay, so normally with Disney or with Costco, one of these companies, our typical response tends to be, I'm no longer going to shop at Costco. I'm, I'm going to cancel my subscription to Disney Plus. Eh, that's not gonna do it. They're not scared of that. But I had an experience which a few years ago, unwittingly, which showed me that there's a better way. So in 2014, I published a book, a patriotic book, called America. Making the rational case for America actually came out on July 4th. And then a few days after the book came out, I got a call from a guy I know, Jerry Corsi, who at the time wrote for a website called World Net Daily. And Jerry Corsi told me, your book has been pulled out of every Costco in the country. And I go, Jerry, that's really not possible. It could be that there's some Costco manager who like, doesn't like my book. Okay, let's turn it backwards. You know, but I said, he goes, no, Dinesh, your, your book is unavailable in any Costco nationwide. And I thought to myself, well, Costco doesn't have to carry my book. They don't actually have a lot of books. But my books have sold well in Costco. They ordered it. Why would they pull it on the verge of it coming out? And then I realized, this is what must have happened. The head of Costco turns out is a big Obama guy. And so what probably happened is some big Obama guy, a big Obama official, Rahm Emanuel type, walks into Costco and he goes, oh my God, what's Dinesh's book doing here? So he makes a phone call to the CEO of Costco and that guy, in order to please the Obama team, says, pull the book. That's what happened. This is the power of the left working on the inside at the highest level. How do you fight that? So it turns out Jerry Corsi wrote his article on World Net Daily, and a lot of people were outraged. How dare you ban an immigrant's book on July 4th? And there were about a thousand people raging on this WND World Net Daily site, but Costco could have cared less. So they don't care about World Net Daily. But then, Somebody in this, let's call it an online mob. Online mobs are very effective. Somebody in this online mob had a brilliant idea. Why are we, why are we having this discussion over here? Let's mosey on over to the Costco site. Aha. Costco does a big percentage, I'm told about half, of its worldwide business online. And so what happens is the snowball begins to roll over to Costco, and now it's not 1,000, it's about 15,000 people. And these people, I kid you not, destroy the Costco site. It's not just that they talk about censorship, oh, Costco, please put the book back. No, they go down the line on every Costco product and trash it. <laughs> Horrible clothes, inedible food, the barbecue grills don't work, everything sucks, and then people take their Costco executive membership and they show pictures of them. Here, watch me, I'm, gonna, I'm cutting my card right now. Here we go. <laughs> and this created such a scandal that the CEO of Costco called me up to Seattle for an emergency meeting, and when I got there, the first words out of his mouth were, you are destroying Costco. I'm destroying a multi-billion dollar corporation. I mean, how awesome is that? I'm like, who's next? And he went on to say that his board of directors was so upset about what was going on that his own job was at stake. And I'm like, what could be better? But, but I, was, I was very careful 
I was thinking these things. But what I said to him is I said, sir, I'm actually not the problem here. You are antagonizing your own constituency. These are people who have spent a lot of money on these executive memberships. They buy $1,000 or more of merchandise from Costco every year. These are your best customers. You've pissed them off. <laughs> and then I walked out. And I came back to San Diego. And by the time I, I landed, I received a message from my publisher. A, Costco's reversing its policy. B, they're putting your books back. C, they're building a special standee so when your movie comes out, <laughs> it won't be on the normal table. It'll be on a special table with full display.